And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, before we continue, I'd like you to, to introduce you to the second main AC we'll be using, though it'll be later on. And that is the Blues XAO3 AV, because it's an Elk Versus, you see. The name's actually a nod towards my old AC. I used to use the Karasawa on that AC, and I used to use the same legs, core, and arms. So this is sort of from memory approximately what I used to use. I've also added the L24 on the top to make it even more broken, but I couldn't fit the moonlight on it. It didn't have the weight capacity, although that will change later on. There will be a set of Zeo Matrix legs that can hold up the moonlight plus the Karasawa, but we'll see if it can support the L24 as well. Uh, I used to, I ha kind of had this naming scheme back when I first played this game. I had the Blues XAO1 in Armored Core 2 and the Blues XAO2 AA in Armored Core 2 Another Age. Of course, the AA meant stood for the, it was the Another Age version, and this was my staple. Uh, back when I regularly cheesed the fuck out of the game, which I really didn't have any bad feelings about doing back then, because I started out on Another Age, and as I've said before, Another Age is balls hard. Another Age is probably the worst game to start the series on, because it's hard as hell. So, uh, I came, kind of went into Armored Core 2 with the mindset of, you know, whatever gets the job done, and that's, that's pretty much what the Blues was, it was whatever got the job done. Uh, the original configuration was, you know, had the Karasawa, the Moonlight, and two of the small green missile launchers that you see on Magic Bullet. Uh, and that's pretty much what I would go through the game through, go through the game with, every fucking time. That was my main AC, and it was broke as fuck, but I loved it! Especially once I found out the Human Plus trick, but to my credit, I have not put that into practice this time. I'd like to think I have grown since then, uh, but yeah, it's, this is going to be coming into play later on, but for now, it's going to just sort of sit there, it's going to marinate, it's going to season, it's, it, it's got to be aged well, you see, it's got to, it, it's like a fine wine, it, it has to, I have no idea where I'm going with this, so I'm going to continue with the playthrough, because goddamn, it's early right now, so let's see, Escort Submarine, yes. This might actually be a per the perfect mission to start using it on. Let's see. We request that you board our submarine and protect it en route to its destination. Yes, sir. The submarine is transporting the recovered files, so we must be prepared for attempts by LCC and Belena to regain them. Please stand by until needed. Oh, so this is a follow-up mission to the mission I did before where I got the hell out of Dodge instead of fighting the two ACs. Gotcha. LCC has an impressive naval arsenal, which includes aircraft carriers. Many dangers await us. Dangerous dangers. Be prepared for any and all eventualities. All. Any and all eventualities. Alright, I suppose we can try this mission once, and if I fuck it up with Magic Bullet, I can try it with Blues. I don't know why I called it Blues. Maybe I was going for a Mega Man reference? back in the day? I don't know. Me and my L24, we can handle it. Operation Gargle, it doesn't sound good. Unidentified units detected on radar. Isn't this a submarine? Shouldn't it be submerged? We can't dive. The water is too shallow. Oh, okay. That explains it then. <laughs> You've got to protect us. So this is one of those missions where it's better to have a hover AC, and indeed I should have made one. Uh, the hover AC doesn't have to worry about falling in the water. You have been warned. Cruiser, where? I was just looking. Oh shit! It's behind us. That right behind us, Captain. I 
I believe there's a part here, but I don't know where it is. Basically, you just gotta blow up all the little things on top of it. And uh, this mission would probably go better if I had brought a hover AC. These missions are really the only missions you want a hover AC for, is the ones where you have to, uh... Sure, by the way, to get the hell out of Dodge. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Make sure to get the hell out of Dodge when they're going up, because they, when they go up, I'm pretty sure they will come out from under you and you will die. So that is always a bad thing. Nobody wants to die. So make sure you don't die. There we go. Such wonderful advice I'm giving out, isn't it? You should write this down. I know, I just killed it. Now, more, you say. <sighs> Die! Of course I didn't hit it. I'm not sure if the submarine can actually die. I'm sure, I'm certain we will find out eventually. If I continue to fuck this up. Hey! <laughs> I tell you to die, you do it! Papa's gotta go over there and spank you. Ow. The hell are those things? We should be able to dive soon. Hold them off. I want to be on the submarine when it goes down. Commencing dive. Return immediately. I'm here. I'm here. Mission objective achieved. There we go. System switch. No, I'm pretty sure certain there's a part on this mission, but I don't know where it is. But I'll get it in, once we do start going through the various missions we missed stuff on after we complete the main story. Because there's going to be a lot of stuff there. I am not as keen, I am not as heartbroken on missing that part as I would have been on missing the moon, the, not the moonlight, but the Carousala, because god damn the Carousala was so worth having. It's so aggravating to get, but it's so worth it in the end. And, uh, I don't want to look at that mission again. <laughs> like, I could have one, I could have done that mission in one go. Uh, it would be fairly easy to do so, but, you know, Doing that mission in one go means you miss out on getting the Karasawa while you're playing the main storyline. You know, it means you have to miss out on it, you know, until after you've beaten the game. And really, I just wanted to go through that mission in one go, so I'm not too heartbroken about missing this part, but I think it's somewhere on the aircraft carrier. Uh, somewhere on it, I th maybe along the sides. I don't know. It's been a long, long time since I cared about that mission at all. So. Investigate Murakumo Dome. Oh, oh. Talk about, talk about your golden opportunities. Wrong one. Wrong one. There we, there we go. Yeah. Talk about your golden opportunities. Investigate Murakumo Dome. In fact, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save before this. 
And that's not just because I'm afraid I'll fuck it up. Uh, but this is a plot mission. This will advance the storyline of the game. And save over this one. And I believe this is a two-on-one AC fight, which means I want my artillery out. So let's go ahead and investigate Murakumo Dome. It's gonna be fun. Nothing can go wrong here. This is the same place we've been taking, uh, we've been taking to uh, make our various opponent ACs waste their ammunition. So, uh, this is, this is a, a mission map and a versus map. It's quite nice looking. We hereby request that you investigate Leos Klein, uh -huh. leader of the Special Forces. We want you to sneak into Murakumo Dome, a structure left over from the first terraforming. Okay. The dome is typically abandoned, but we've been notified that a person fitting Klein's description has been seen entering and leaving the facility recently. Okay, before I continue, there's something I, I want to focus on for a second, and that is first terraforming. First terraforming, not second. It's another nail in the coffin that it, it was humans that created the disorders, like before, from before the Great Destruction that forced people underground in Armored Core. No, this is the first terraforming of Mars that's going on. We have not been to Mars yet before you know, Chrome and Murakumo and what and so forth from the first Armored Core got here. This was the first time we got to Mars. The Disorders are aliens. Deal with it. Perhaps we can gain some useful information with which to oppress the LCC by discovering Klein's purpose for being there. LCC. We have great faith in you, Raven. You. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a two-on-one AC fight, hence why I took blues. We shall see. Operation Old Clock. This is your only exit. Return here once your investigation is complete. So as you can see, it looks... system. Engaging combat mode. So as you can see... Ooh, that's a nice car. Aw. If it were Armor Core 3, I would have blown it up. As you can see, it's quite uh, different looking from the brightly lit arena. It's very old, very Looks worn. Like there's nothing here. And I'm up here for a reason. Wait, I'm picking something up on the radar. <laughs> it's a trap. High temperature response. Missiles approaching. Get out now. Enemy units detected. ACs. It's a trap. Thank you, Admiral Akbar. So yeah, you have to dispose of these guys in very enemy short order. While enemy units are present. Take them out. And you can see, I'm already running out of energy. That's the big downside of using the Kurosawa. Fortunately, these guys are so fragile. Enemies destroyed. Get out of there now. If I can't have it, no one can. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. So yeah, the Frighteners just ambushed me. This whole operation was a trap. There was no reward. <laughs> you will be in the red after this. It doesn't mean you did, any, did anything wrong. It's just the game is kind of a dick like that sometimes. 